This is Officer Dan with another GK Tech install video, so let's do it. This is the GK Tech solid rear subframe conversion. And these 6061 T6 aluminum love nuggets will allow you to run an S14, 15, R33, or R34 subframe in your S13 or R32. Now, once you've removed your subframe, you'll need to remove the bushing from the outer shell, and there are a couple ways to do this. The first method is going to be to burn those suckers out using a flammable liquid to burn them to the ground. This method takes longer, but who doesn't like playing with fire? Now method two uses a drill and a hole saw that's the same size diameter as the subframe bushing. Just drill baby drill until that sucker pops out. Both methods will leave you with the outer shell as you can see here. You'll need to use a hacksaw at this point to cut a line in that outer shell and then chisel around the outer shell edges. Flipping over, then repeating on the bottom side. After much effort, the outer shell will eventually plop out like so. Now grab some sandpaper and clean off any burrs or marks you made while removing. Prior to install, it helps greatly to slide these things into the freezer for at least 12 hours to make them easier to press into the subframe. They make horrible popsicles. Now these are to be installed with the offset hole facing the center line of the subframe, which can be seen here. Mark the edge of the subframe and the bushing to make things easier as well as accurate. The first method to get the bushings in is using a press. These bushings install from the bottom to the top as seen here. Just line up the marks, put a plate of some sort on the top while supporting the bottom and press away. If you don't have access to a press, you can also line up the bushings, place a piece of wood on top and give them a whack with a big old hammer. Make sure to support the bottom and make sure that the bushing bottoms out as seen here. Now we're gonna to toss the subframe temporarily back in. Get the studs lined up with the subframe, and once aligned, you can either drop the car down or raise the subframe up. It's going to give you 15 millimeters of roll center correction. It's also going to hit the chassis and the frame rails. Now that you know where the subframe hits, get a marker out and mark where you'll be bashing in with the hammer. Now go ahead and massage away. Do it little by little until the subframe fits perfectly without hitting the chassis or the frame rails. Now it's time to reinstall the subframe. We recommend using the OEM brackets up front if you still happen to have them. Now hand tighten the nuts all the way around. Now all that's left is to torque down the nuts in sequence as shown here to the specs listed. And that's it. Enjoy your new subframe. Care of GK Tech. Officer Dan, out!